Hello, everybody. My name is Joanna Rączaszek Leonardi. I'm speaking to you from the Faculty of Psychology, University of Warsaw. And it is a great, great pleasure uh, to welcome you to the opening kickoff meeting of our new three year Horizon 2020 grant. Uh, the title is From Social Interaction to Abstract Concepts and Words Towards Human Centered Technology Development. And I welcome uh, our guests um, on YouTube first. Um, I'm sorry we had to divide the meeting like this, but uh, I'm waving and everybody will wave to you right now. Uh, please uh, do feel that you participate, write your comments, you can wave back to us uh, and your comments and questions will be, uh, will be observed by us and, uh, and answered. And um, welcome our uh, guests. Um, um, first of all, uh, our project officer and advisor, Charles de Chef de Bien uh, mm -hmm. from the European Commission. You can also Hello. wait. Thank you, Johanna. Uh, I don't know if our Dean is with us. Camille, are you here? Uh, I, I don't see, but, uh, oh yeah, Camille, hi. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, nice great. to meet you all. Great to see you. Um, I also uh, welcome our administration, administration staff, uh, thanks for, for coming, and of course our colleagues from the faculty, from the university, and from other institutions. I hope that you will all join, help us, and also benefit from this project, because this is not a research project, it's actually a project which is preparing the ground, theoretical and methodological ground for further research and for making the Warsaw University a stronger research center, but it will not happen without uh, your help, of course. Uh, so first, uh, let me um, show you the breadth of the expertise that we managed to gather in the twinning uh, grant. And uh, so I, I will introduce the hosts of those meetings and co-creators of the grant uh, who are here in the studio with me. And uh, this is uh, from um, Sapienza University of Rome. Uh, it's Anna Borghi. I don't know if Carlo Lai is with you and Francesca uh, Bellagamba. If you are here, please, please wave. Um, uh, Anna and Carlo are professors at the Department of Dynamic and Clinical Psychology. I will be saying affiliations for you to see the, how, how broad expertise we are, we are trying to merge here. Then University of Manchester, uh, and here is uh, Angelo Cangelosi, uh, Hello. professor of machine learning and robotics, Department of Computer Science. Then there is Thea Cameron Faulkner, professor at the Department of Linguistics and English Language. And then from Aarhus, Aarhus University, Andreas Robstroff, uh, who is an anthropologist from the School of Culture and Society, Department of Anthropology, Department of Clinical Medicine, and of course, a founder of the Interacting Mind Center, and always an ideal for, for us uh, to <laughs> how to organize research. Christian Tillen, uh, School of Communication and, and Culture, Cognitive Science, and Center for Semiotics. Additional, another uh, expertise that we will need here. And Karsten Olsen, <clears throat> who is from the School of Culture and Society and also Interactive Mind Center. So you all guys have been a long time idols for us, how, um, how to think, how to do research, how to organize work. And we are, I, I cannot believe that we are doing grants together. It's just, uh, it's just fantastic. And uh, I wanted to, I, I'm very proud that you devote your time to make our research at our university and faculty uh, better. It's really amazing. And finally, our Warsaw team, uh, I hope you are all here. People who also co-created the grant and whom I wanted to thank by, by this. And it's Albertina Osińska, wave wave Julian Zubek who is hiding behind here and uh, he, will, he, can, he can probably wave to you later. Uh, Grzegorz Krajewski, um, our new project manager Konrad Zieliński, uh, all from the Faculty of Psychology and I also welcome the administrative staff who was uh, crucial for, for, this, for developing this grant uh, which is Anna Barcerzak, Kasia Szniszewska, Sylwia Stanicka, and Maria Cybińska. Welcome to you all, uh, to you all, 
and uh, let's let's try to we we made it i mean the competition was fierce we made it now let's try to work to uh, do it really successful and uh, i will now ask Charles, um, Charles the, the chef de bien yeah, Charles, yeah. right I, i'm not pronouncing your name as well as you are pronouncing mine no no you are pronouncing quite well eh? no not really Okay, so I will uh, I uh, welcome you already, and now I will ask you to just say five uh, words or sentences from the European Commission. Uh, well, uh, thank you, Johanna. So first of all, um, just uh, would like to say that I'm really glad to be uh, the project officer for this project because it is uh, monitored, it is coordinated, sorry, by a Polish entity. This is the very first time I am monitoring such a project. Because then this is actually yeah, the key issue of um, twinnings is that there are very few projects coordinated by Polish entities, for instance. And uh, I would have really enjoyed attending this kickoff meeting in Warsaw uh, if it would have been possible in, in normal times. And uh, having a walk in Krakowskie Przedmieście would have been really nice. Uh, you are very lucky to have a campus in the heart of the town because usually campuses are far away. And, uh, and here it is not the case at all, so lucky you. Uh, so just just few words on uh, on um, twinnings uh, because then uh, as you know uh, train crease is a twinning project and the key word uh, for uh, twinnings is that it is an institutional networking uh, the official definition of twinning is that it is a, a twinning project straightens a specific field of research in an emerging institution in a widening country so Poland is a widening country. Uh, meaning that in FP7 we noticed that the new member states that joined, I mean, they are not new anymore because it was almost 20 years ago that Poland joined the EU, but countries from Central and Eastern Europe were not participating that much in FP7 actions. So for Horizon 2020, we decided to have a special program to uh, encourage them. Uh, emerging institution, I don't think that uh, the University of Warsaw is an emerging institution. I think it would be a bit insulting to say so. Uh, so sorry for the definition, but it is considered officially, according to Horizon 2020, as an emerging institution. But okay, we all know that it is not the case. And the specific field of research, then this is uh, what you said, Johanna. Uh, then uh, I think it is uh, quite long, this, uh, this official uh, research field for the train crease. I see the emergence, understanding, and use of abstract concepts and words in human interaction. Then... Um, the key uh, objective of this twinning project then is to enable uh, the Warsaw University to uh, increase its visibility in the European research area and also worldwide and to straighten its uh, research and innovation potential. So then for this purpose, uh, it is uh, building uh, a specific network with uh, three international leading partners and the University of Sapienza, Irish University and Manchester that are uh, experts in specific field for the overall research field of this train crease project. So uh, as you know, this is not a research and innovation action project, meaning that there will be no new knowledge. Uh, actually, the core business of the project is not to create a completely new knowledge, is to set up accompanying measures for networking in this case. That's why the budget of this project is relatively low. In a research and innovation action projects, we have budgets like uh, 6 million, even more. And here, I guess it's 900, not even 900,000, it's uh, 899, yeah. So uh, that's why uh, the budget is relatively limited, but it's still a three-year project, so it means that there is actually a far-reaching goal because you need three years for setting up this, uh, this network. And uh, we, we have uh, then, uh, as I said, Four, I wouldn't say three, but four leading entities because the University of Warsaw is definitely also a leading entity, but it just comes from a country that has not participated enough in uh, in the last uh, research and innovation action. So I think that's uh, that's all. It's it's quite broad, but it's just to give an overview uh, and the, the context of uh, of the train crease project. Thank you so much. Uh, that's perfect. And I think, uh, well, we, we still have a long way to emerge, I think, so we can be considered an emerging institution. And uh, especially comparing how, how we think about research and uh, research organization at our partners. Uh, 
So um, I sometimes feel very emerging. I don't know about uh, the rest of my colleagues at, uh, at Warsaw University. But uh, you said it's not a research grant and uh, no new knowledge is being generated, but I think it's difficult that no new knowledge is generated when some minds come together. So at least we will, we will uh, not uh, uh, make new research, new data perhaps, but by working on our data that we already have and open projects that we already have, we are striving to make a contribution to the field, to develop the specific field of research so um, I'm, I'm very, very happy that this very wide expertise came to, to our, our uh, grant because uh, I, would like you to, to, I would like to give my colleagues the background and why we think that you all can fit and help us from uh, Warsaw University and not only from Warsaw University. Uh, because, um, well, you, as you saw, we, our, our research field that we will try to develop by integrating our expertise, not by new research, is uh, that of on the role of sociality in abstractness, in creating abstract concepts and words. And um, as you could see, in order to tackle this very, very difficult um, concept, we need a lot, lot of expertise. And we have uh, people here from anthropologists through linguists, to psychologists, to semioticists, to cognitive scientists, to computer scientists and roboticists. And I think it's just phenomenal, but this is needed to make progress in this very, very, very basic research field. Yes? So sorry, Joanna, just uh, indeed, I mean, um, what I said is, is a bit uh, not exactly what I wanted to say, meaning that there will be a new knowledge for sure, because any research project funded within uh, the framework of uh, Horizon 2020 has definitely uh, the goal to uh, issue a new knowledge. Um, what I wanted to say actually is that we are supporting those four universities in creating this new knowledge, meaning that the project is just, let's say, a, a set of accompanying measures. We are not funding actually uh, full uh, research oriented actions, whereas for research and innovation action, we are actually funding those research activities. So we are enabling you to create a new knowledge, but it's just a supporting action. That's what I wanted to say. Sorry, it was a bit misleading what I said. No, I, th I think it, you, you, you said it correctly that we are not evaluated on the new knowledge. We are evaluated on our key performance measures, uh, mm -hmm. which is our papers, our new grants that we are going to then after this project, uh, perhaps secure which is even better because we can be really risky in the, our developments. And I think that we really need this because as I told you, this, this research on social basis of abstractness is in a sense very novel what we are trying to do. Because usually you know, we thought about, in cognitive sciences especially, we thought about abstract uh, concepts and the difficulty of understanding abstract concepts and abstract words in terms of how they are grounded in our world. And usually because we were thinking about individual human computational mind, we thought about those abstract uh, entities as symbols that needed some grounding. And now here, people that are gathered here are, I think, bold enough to also see the other route to abstract concepts, not only to find their meaning or to find their grounding, but rather start from the very basis, from the sociality, from the interaction, and then from continuous processes, and then build up from the social sociality, from action, from interaction, from continuous processes to abstractness. And this is a route that is maybe a little bit forgotten because we have assumed that symbols exist in the minds for the last 50, 40 years of cognitive sciences. We need to move a little bit back to recover, you know, great fathers such as Jerome Bruner or, or uh, Vygotsky or Merleau-Ponty or maybe William James and to, to hop back from the era before a computer metaphor of the mind and remind ourselves that we are deep, deeply social, deeply interactive, deeply acting um, beings. And then, and then, you know, the problem becomes not the grounding symbols in, in sociality, but the ungrounding symbols from sociality. So how come uh, from our interactions, 
all of a sudden some, some abstract entities uh, emerge. And in, we just have this great hope that, you know, it's very difficult to ground abstract symbols because you think already in abstraction. When you try to unground, we, you hope that they will retain the values that are there, that they will never unground completely, but that the values and the main reason why uh, they are emerging and guiding our interactions will be recognizable. So this is this, this kind of complementarity that we are striving for. And what is important is not that we, we say, okay, you guys are wrong. For 40 uh, years, you've been wrong in cognitive sciences thinking about abstractness and symbols. No, we don't have the right and the wrong way uh, to think about abstract symbols. We would like to create this complementarity, the complementarity between the grounding of abstractness in, in our knowledge and interaction and how the processes of ungrounding or of abstractness, abstractness as a process grounded in sociality is really something that we strive from. So as you can see, it's extre an extremely basic research and that's why it's at the roots of everything that we do uh, in psychology, for sure, but also um, in anthropology, in, in uh, studies on culture, in studies on language. And at our faculty, we have a lot uh, of people who work, for example, in understanding emotions and emotional words. That's one example. Understanding of economical concepts, such as ownership, for example. Uh, understanding of numerical cognition, which is obviously uh, an abstract, uh, relays on abstract concepts. Uh, people who work on stereotypes and prejudice, which is also a kind of weird abstractness that we want to think if it's, you know, when it's harmful and when it's not. Uh, so we just hope that uh, also we have people working on multiple languages, using multiple languages, which are kind of multiple forms of um, abstraction. So we wanted to, you said the title is so, so long, but we, we sort of wanted to retain it very comprehensive to help the most people from the Faculty of uh, Psychology, but also from Warsaw University and vicinities to join us to contribute and to, to help us in this complementary endeavor and, uh, and also to benefit from it. So this meeting is actually about, about this. Uh, it's about um, showing you what's in the store, showing you open research and opportunities to join. And it's just incredible that there is a grant, speci especially for us to become better in this field um, and, uh, and that you all guys are here to, to help us. So I wanted to, uh, welcome everybody again. Thank you that you are here. Uh, declare officially that the program uh, project has started. Well, it has started on the on January first, but uh, now it's uh, for everybody. And show you uh, what we have in store uh, within this project for you uh, that uh, actually everybody can can join. I will share my um, screen right now. Tell me if you can see it. Mm. So, uh, so this is this is basically it. The program will run for three years, uh, starting uh, January twenty one until December twenty three, and uh, and here are the the two complementary uh, roads that uh, well I, I uh, we we ascribed uh, you know University of Manchester and Rome for their history of research more to the grounding route and. Uh, I don't know if Andreas and Christian and Karsten, if you agree, but you are a little bit, bit more on the ungrounding uh, road. And, and uh, here is an overview of the, of the whole project, but uh, I won't go into details here. But uh, here, the, this, this upper part is about developing this new field of expertise, um, working on what abstractness is, what is the role of sociality in abstraction, uh, how to think about it in various fields, language development, for example, or up to computing and communicating with artificial intelligence. On the level of uh, institution, there are specific tasks designated to make us better in research, to make our uh, publications more successful and higher impact. 
uh, and also to make those changes sustainable within uh, the University of Warsaw. Here is our emergent property. I think we, for example, our researchers are great uh, with great potentials. Our administrators are great. Ad administrative staff for research is amazing. But I think that we can learn a lot and also, I mean, stamp our feet and be recognizable uh, in Europe because, you know, having experience uh, as, as you said, well, we are not so much worse. So how come our key performance indicators uh, seem to be a little bit lower and uh, we would like to stop, to put a stop on this. So there are also special tasks uh, designated for us to become better and more visible researchers for our administrator, uh, for administrative staff from research to learn about the processes, how to make them more efficient and learn from, from their colleagues. Uh, and uh, those things that are open to everybody um, or semi-open as in, uh, in the case of uh, research uh, exchange and visits and uh, uh, some workshops um, will be as follows. So some, some will be just organized meetings and we plan one conference very soon in March already, four workshops, one summer school. We, are, we will try to bid for very good, I, maybe IEEE uh, summer uh, school in uh, robotics. Um, then we will have staff and early st stage researchers visits, um, which um, will be designated to develop very specific topics or problems, administration exchanges, on the transferring the expertise in research management, in uh, making us more successful, uh, attracting and managing uh, fundings and micro twinnings as well, which is a sort of a, um, uh, how, do, how, how do I say, the, 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 the distinguishing property of our, our twinning. Um, here is the overview of the um, uh, of the conferences and workshops. Uh, this is what you uh, what you, you can participate in, and let your students, PhDs, postdocs know about them because we are going to open them for at least some parts of them uh, to become to for, for the whole community of um, um, of the Faculty of Psychology and the University of Warsaw to benefit from that, and also our collaborators from our from from partners. So the first conference is the fresh per perspectives on abstract concepts and theory building, which is already in March. We have 18 leading scientists in abstract uh, abstraction research on abstraction already contracted. And I don't know if something changes, maybe it's 20 already, but we strived for this number. Mm, and of course you will uh, receive links uh, to participate in the open parts of, of uh, those lectures. Then four workshops on uh, developing methods and making them compatible with each other. So first of all, the cultural evolution in the laboratory, how to experimentally investigate uh, the emergence of abstract thinking in Aarhus, automatic data cap capture and nonlinear methods, it's Warsaw University experimental designs for the study of abstract concepts in interaction in Rome, and computational approach to abstract concepts and words, which is uh, Manchester, it's both developmental and robotics um, and computational oriented um, uh, expertise. Then the summer school in human robot interaction that we will, uh, will plan. And with a closing session, which will show the conclusions from developing our framework as a as value based abstraction um, uh, on the basis of social interaction, uh, what uh, conclusions uh, can we draw for robotics and um, human AI uh, coordination? And then last but not least, the workshops of the uh, University of Warsaw administrative staff at Partners. And uh, this will be also organized workshops, but uh, in addition to the, to the visits that I mentioned. And then micro twinnings. Micro twinnings are a little research team that we would like to compose out of our early stage researchers, meaning our master's students, PhD students, and the postdocs uh, supervised by, by our partners 
on specific topics within this research area. So it's for piloting research areas, complementarity of methods, trying out various stuff. So different compositions of little groups working together. Now we, we are experts in remote uh, collaborating. So I hope it will be even more possible. Uh, topics will be either proposed by us after our workshops and meetings, or they can be bottom up. If you have a great idea, for example, how to understand the concept of emotion or, or how to understand the ownership concept and you would like to work with us, we are more than happy. Um, and then uh, we can realize those within the instruments that are already there. So such as research labs in cognitive science program, such as uh, term papers or, or empirical papers in psychology, and uh, of course, master master thesis may be more appropriate because it's mo mostly for graduate uh, students. Mm, calls for those micro twinning projects uh, will be out very soon in March, June, and September, and of course, they will be advertised on our uh, pages and uh, and uh, uh, wherever we we think it's appropriate to reach 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 to you. This is basically it. Uh, I will send the we will send the, the presentation, so you will, will have those contacts uh, and more links probably also to our uh, website, which will be designed very very soon. And uh, for now, we have uh, two three minutes uh, left. So I don't know if you, any of the partners would like to add something. Did I did I forget anything? And if you have questions on YouTube, please. Uh, Conrad, uh, uh, if you want to. Okay, we have a lot of people there, so wave, wave. Uh, thank you from Joanna Jurevich. Mm, right. George Lake of Mark Turner. Yes, these are all people who understand that embodiment is so important. Not so much sociality, I would say, some of them, but. Uh, but some of them are definitely also uh, zoom on interaction.